Welcome to the Fall Mixtape of 2023, brought to you by yours truly. The first playlist is titled Japanese Acid Jazz, more specifically, the heavenly combination that is Mondo Grosso and Hikari Mitsushima. I recently got reminded of this duo thanks to their shadow dance music video, which, like all of their music videos, is breathtaking. My outfit is inspired by Hikari's, though I didn't want to wear the same pants look because frankly I've done that look one too many times on this channel. I figured a long skirt would give off the same energy. I like this look a lot though, it's very basic, it's very vibey, but it's got a little bit of a kick to it. Labyrinth is the song that helped me discover Mondo Grosso, similarly to how many others would have. The vibrancy of the song is unparalleled, and so to match the mood, I copied Hikari's outfit once again, but in the opposite colors because I don't own anything red in my closet. This fest was actually thrifted in Japan, so it fits with the overall themes. The next playlist is called The Lost Summer of 2014. It's the summer I fell in love, and it's a time that holds a lot of dear memories to me. My partner used to make me mixtapes to listen to in the car as a way of thinking of him and discovering new music. Now, one of the most memorable artists in my mixtapes was Washed Out. I remember Good Luck being the first song that would play in my summer mixtape, and I would listen to it while driving on the highway on my way to my internship. This song takes me straight back to when I was 18, with my biggest worry being how to afford flight tickets to visit my soulmate across the oceans. This outfit represents the bubbliness of that time. This song, as questionable as the lyrics are, was part of another mixtape I was obsessed with. Ironically, 18-year-old me was singing this all the time just because it was a vibe. Of course, to match the title of the song, I wanted my outfit to be similarly chaotic, hence the color choices. I'll be real with you though, I didn't look cool at all when I was younger. I was my partner's Scandinavian crush, which is why he added it into one of his very first mixtapes to me. To honor the song and its meaning in my life, I dress in the colors of the Finnish flag, and the dress I'm wearing is actually my mom's old dress from the 90s. I wore this dress a lot as a young adult, as it was one of my most prized possessions. I swear this dress is indestructible because it has lasted through the decades with me and my mom. Funeral song is dedicated to my love for two things throughout the decades, sweater vests and denim. This outfit is a bit wild and chaotic, like the vibes of the song itself. It says goodbye to a summertime I can never revisit again. If the younger me saw this outfit, I think she'd gasp in joy because this is the type of outfit I would wear in high school. I especially loved layering sweaters on top of dresses and that was the first steps I took to testing out different kinds of layered looks. So last fall, I was lucky enough to see Wild Nothing play a show in New York City. Shadow was one of the most anticipated songs and honestly, it made me feel so alive. This outfit represents once again a core part of my fashion journey during those years. Yes, it was pajama shirts. I had an obsession with anything silky and honestly still do. This was the perfect road trip song to listen to. In recent years though, I switched from the Honda Civic to the subway cars of New York, but the song is still such a vibe no matter what form of transportation you're taking. Once again, this song brings up fond memories and so I want my outfit to be similarly tied to the past. Soft and comfy, like the vague nostalgia this song makes me feel. I've actually been listening to Whitest Boy Alive since before the 2010s, but it has only recently come to my attention that the reason the singer sounds so familiar to me is because the vocalist is actually part of Kings of Convenience, a duo I've been listening to since my early teen years. My most vivid memories of listening to this song is in a car as my family drove us across Finland on one of our many visits to Helsinki. The stars would shine bright and I'd stare at them while clutching onto my iPod touch. Like the stars twinkled, so do I now with this outfit. The next playlist is K-pop. Everything from slow tunes to electrifying beats. If you didn't already realize this from my last mixtape video, I have a slight obsession with new jeans. I love the music video of Cool With You and though this outfit technically leans more into summer attire, I wanted to represent it nonetheless. This outfit is inspired by the outfits the members wear in the music video, though I could never out-fairycore them. 
I love their recent focus on more mythological elements and attire and would love to invest in such attire more myself. Let's move on to the next outfit, if it's cool with you of course. If you've followed this channel closely since its early days, you may know I've been a fan of BTS for nearly a decade now. It doesn't come as a surprise that I am obsessed with V's latest work, and Rainy Days is exactly the kind of music I've been waiting for. Ever since V's solo song Stigma got released in the Wings album in 2016, I've been anticipating more neo-jazz and R&B focused work from him, and so far the Layover EP is everything I've been hoping for. To match the tone of the song, I chose a rainy day outfit similar to these in the music video. Of course I couldn't leave out Love Me Again, as I've been equally invested in it. Following V's example with the sequins, I am decking myself head to toe in golden sequin. The song itself is so elegant, but also groovy, and I wanted to represent those two elements by combining the elegant elements in the coat with the sparkle and excitement of the dress. Like V, when the spotlight is on me, I will shine. If you've watched my Goddess Core Guide video, you know how I feel about Misamo's Do Not Touch. But to reiterate it, I love this song and the message it sends. I also love the attire from the music, of course, and my outfit is loosely inspired by it. This outfit is also once again more summer based, but since I didn't make a summer version of this mixtape series, I hope this can serve as a small piece of my summer mixtape outfits. Like the artworks, this outfit shines on its own, and oh boy, does it shine beautifully. Honestly, my second New Jeans song was tied between Get Up and ASAP, but because Get Up isn't a full-length song and the music video is part of Cool With You, I figured I'd go with more variety. I talked about this on my TikTok and in my Goddess Core video, but the ASAP music video has a lot of mythological and storytelling ties, such as Alice in Wonderland, fairies, and mermaids. So I thought it would be appropriate to use an Alice in Wonderland inspired outfit. What Even Is Life is a playlist for when life throws lemons at me and they keep bouncing off my head, but I still somehow manage to function. When in doubt, Thundercat. I know Captain Stupido isn't exactly the most exemplary Thundercat song, but it's one that's just groovy enough to get me into a groove when life feels a little too much like it's on a loop. In honor of the absolute chaos, yet comfortable familiarity that I feel from the lack of purpose in my life, especially in recent months, I wanted to wear something colorful and equally chaotic yet comfy. If you were around during the 2010s electro swing boom on YouTube, then you've probably attempted a few of these moves I realize I cannot actually do in these stupid boots, but at least I tried. Paro Stiller was one of the many artists I come back to when I need a little swing beat in my life. The choice was tough between this and Caravan Palace, but I can't settle on a specific song with Caravan Palace, so I went with this. The outfit is broody at first look, but once the jacket comes off, it'll go into full swing and glamour. Forget about the fact that you can't even dance right, if life is throwing lemons at you, kick them off the dance floor. Like the album title Beach Bunny, this outfit is like something straight out of a coastal aesthetic. With Beach Fossils coming out with a new album, I've been listening to Sleeping On My Own as it feels really nostalgic and similar to the tunes I listened to in the 2010s. I think this song kind of reminds me of the oceans between me and my family in Finland, and how every night, even if I know I'm loved, I'll be going to bed on my own. And that's a tough pill to swallow sometimes. Observing the confusion and uncertainty conveyed in the song What You Know by Tudor Cinema Club, I wanted my outfit to resonate those emotions. I'm in the middle of starting a new chapter in my life, and with new beginnings come new plots, characters, and difficulties I have to overcome. Throughout the years, I find myself returning to this song over and over again, when I'm feeling like life is throwing too many lemons at me. Video game music is my ultimate comfort music, so of course, there is a dedicated playlist for it. Twilight Princess is probably my favorite Zelda game ever, and I'm excited to replay it someday soon. With that in mind, The Great Fairy Fountain is a song I can play on repeat for hours, which is why I decided to base my outfit off of the Twilight Princess version of The Great Fairy. She's half naked though, um, so in order to not get in trouble on this channel, I opted to work with the overall color palette of the Twilight Realm and Twilight Princess. 
Kingdom Hearts is another game that's very close to my heart, as it has grown up with me through the decades since I was 7 years old. I've been listening to Twilight Town from Kingdom Hearts 2 most recently, but Dearly Beloved is the one that I will return to almost every time without fail, so I'm torn between the two. My outfit is what I'd call a generic NPC outfit, something between Borderline Extra and Very Square Enix. In case you didn't notice, I even paid attention to details by wearing chunky sneakers to match Kyrie's vibes. I look like I'm about to give you a side quest or challenge you to a battle. I already know I'd lose in a fight though, I can't twirl a sword or a stick for shit. Now I'm just embarrassing myself. Um, I'm moving on. This last one isn't a video game soundtrack, but instead a song that really reminds me of Final Fantasy soundtracks. Ikoku no Onnatachi reminds me of beautiful and quiet moments in Final Fantasy IX and X specifically, such as Makalania Woods in Final Fantasy X or Memoria in Final Fantasy IX. My outfit isn't based on any specific character or game, just the overall vibes of the song. The last playlist is called Dance With Me, dedicated to songs I want to dance to with someone. If you've been on Instagram or TikTok, you've definitely heard this song by Lofi. Sorry, I have no idea how to say her name. This one's a very catchy song to groove to, and considering that it's about love and feeling like you're falling behind, I wanted to dress in a sort of lovey-dovey fashion. Cute song, cute fit, good vibes. Since I Left You is a song that's been with me for quite some time now. I wanted to wear something flowy that can easily move with me when I dance, and the button-up and skirt combo is one of my favorites for this purpose. I used to dance to this song all the time because it's so catchy. Sometimes I just wish I had someone to dance with me to these fun songs. Speaking of fun songs, I've been grooving to real estate since I first saw them at Flow Festival in 2014. Once again, there is more than one song that I like, but Darling stands out to me as it was the song that I played the most while studying at university. This is a song that would lighten up my mood, hence the pastel outfit. Also, I am so impatient, so the lyrics, impatiently as I wait for you, seem fitting for my character. I've had a lot of character development since I was young, but my patience hasn't really leveled up along the years. Jungle was another band that I, well, almost saw at Flow Festival, but it was a choice between Jungle and Slow Dive's reunion, and I chose Slow Dive. Either way, like the rest of the internet, I love Back on 74 and the choreography for the rest of the music videos from Jungle's latest album as well. If you've heard the song but don't know Jungle from previous years, it's actually pretty standard for them to include dancers and stunning choreographies in their music videos. I just wanted my outfit to be fall weather appropriate, but also reflect the cool vibes and energy from Back on 74. Just like the song Breathless, after filming over 20 outfits in a sudden heatwave in New York City, I am out of breath. I wanted this last outfit to be really chill and sort of reminiscent of my youth because as you may have noticed, just like how I'm an outfit repeater, I'm a song repeater too, and this song has been playing on repeat on and off throughout the years for me. I hope you enjoyed these playlists. If you want to listen to any of the songs, I'll link them in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.